Another I-Team investigation is getting results. This time, the Houston Parks Department is punishing some of its lifeguards after what the I-Team caught them doing. Or should we say, not doing. Jeremy Rogalski explains. It's a joy of summer that can turn deadly in less than a minute. And drowning dangers go up. Nobody's watching the kids. When no one's paying attention. Absolutely no one. Parents were stunned by what the I-Team caught City of Houston lifeguards doing. Goofing around. Like here at the Moody Park Pool. Look at what happens to the only guard watching the water. Another guard distracts her, taking photos. And for how long? We'll start the clock. They shouldn't be doing that. They should be watching the pool, watching the kids, making sure nobody's drowning. But we found guards watching their cell phones. Here at Beverly Hills Park in Southeast Houston, not one or two, but three guards glued to them. You've been watching this for the last hour? Yes, I have. They weren't happy to see it. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Can you get that camera on my face? You don't know your name? I don't know my name. You've been constantly on your phones. Isn't there some lifeguarding to do here? Any guards there? Oh, that guy right there? Yes, sir. But that guy is the same guy doing this earlier and the same guy oblivious to the front flips happening behind him. Obviously, lifeguards don't have eyes in the back of their heads. We shared our video with certified lifeguard instructor and pool safety expert Marty Wadsworth. If they're not paying attention, people can lose their life. And statistics show it can happen before you know it. That water can take away a child's life in under 30 seconds. Which brings us back to the poolside photo shoot. Total distraction time, 47 seconds. On average, again, it takes only 30 seconds for a child to go unconscious in the water. That's a zero tolerance matter. So what's the city's reaction to our findings? Jeff Jefferson oversees City Pool. Without saying what my feelings really were, they must be addressed. They must be addressed immediately. But the I-Team found other areas where the city's breaking its own safety rules, like with staffing. Look at all the empty guard stands we found. At the jam-packed Lincoln Park Pool in Acres Homes, we saw only one guard on duty. And the same held true at De Zavala Park on the city's east side. So how many should there be? A ratio of one lifeguard per 25 patrons. It's called the 1 to 25 rule, and you'd think it would be spelled out in the city's aquatics manual, but... You have 80 pages of material that talks about everything under the sun, but doesn't mention how many guards should be by a pool. Because we cover that in training. Why not write it down so everybody knows? We could do that. So instead of 1 to 25, what do you get? At Studi Park in the Heights, a lot of standing around. And back at Moody Park, a lot of sitting around. Although a neighborhood kid did appear to be playing lifeguard at the top of the slot. It's pretty concerning. I wouldn't take my kids to those parks. It leaves parents wondering and warning if something doesn't change. They're going to be drowning. Their child's going to get hurt. Well, after seeing our footage, the Parks Department's division manager demoted one employee and suspended another. Jeff Jefferson also called staff-wide retraining sessions and will be doing on-site surveys of all the city's 37 pools throughout the swimming season. I'm Jeremy Rogalski, KHU 11 News.